Aloha nui kako, Joe Souza here, actually right in our sound studio and gonna share with you a little bit about humidity. Now humidity can really be our friend or sometimes it can really work against us when it comes to our musical instruments. Now this is something that is really industry-wide. Anybody who knows acoustic instruments understands that there's some care and feeding that comes with your acoustic instrument. The ukulele is no different. So some of the care and feeding and maintenance of you know, allowing your instrument to last for generations, it's gonna take a little bit of work. Now I always kind of playfully say, well, you can't just drive your car without changing the oil, or you, know, you can't just keep going without putting water in the radiator. In this case, these are some of the things that you're gonna to have to do to maintain your instrument. And just understanding a little bit more on why humidity works the way it does and how it affects our instruments. In this case, humidity here in Hawaii, beautiful. Everybody loves it. This humid air that literally nourishes our body every single day with all this wonderful moisture is even nourishing our ukuleles too. It's when the air gets dry that becomes a concern for us. Now, of course, when our relative humidity drops anywhere between, let's say, 45%, anything below that, you have to start to be aware of the humidity and the effect that it's gonna play on your instrument. So in this case, we have a bunch of different tools that you could use to help care for your instrument, to allow your instrument to last for generations. Now, how the humidity affects your instrument basically is just like how it affects us. When it gets dry, our skin gets dry, our lips get chapped, our instrument gets dry and cracked too. <laughs> Potentially. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we nourish our instruments. For one of the earlier signs of this potential dry climate, when you take a look at your instrument and see you run your hand along the edge of the fingerboard, sometimes you might feel the edges of the fret. That's one early sign that the humidity is dry and your instrument may need some moisture or some humidity. Another kind of telltale sign is to look at the instrument and if you see some kind of discoloration right there where the fret touches the fingerboard or right along the edge of your neck, there's another sign of, oh, the air could be a bit dry. I'm not sure what my relative humidity is, but I may want to start to care for my instrument. So when we start to look at ways of caring for our instrument, we want to make sure that it's humidified and it really depends on the severity. If you see that your, where you live is relatively between 45 to 55% humidity, you're good. You may just go into more of a maintenance mode. And in that case, we'll have that humidity pack just working for you. So this humidity pack actually, that's made by Diodario, is the perfect solution for you. It just kind of helps for you to maintain your instrument. So everything is working in good order. Now, of course, if you start to see some early signs of potential damage that got created from humidity, you may want to step into something that's a little bit more protective. And in this case, a hum humidification system, in this case, will allow you to have something that's a bit more kind of forward as far as adding humidity to your instrument. Now, one of the best tricks that I found in caring for your instrument is when you're not playing your instrument, and if the relative humidity is dry, you wanna go ahead and keep your instrument in its case. You know, you wanna create a safe place for this, for your investment. You wanna care for it. So in this case, you could get one of those humidity systems, whether it's just to keep your relative humidity stable, or if you're adding humidity and you wanna get your instrument to kinda of drink up some of that moisture, you can go ahead and put it in your case and know that it's safe. Another kind of maintenance way of caring for your instrument is an in the sound hole humidification system. And in this case, you'll be adding a little bit of humidity, just the right amount, not too much, but just enough for your ukulele to stay nourished. And really that's what we're looking for, is how do we nourish, how do we care for our ukulele? Because our ukulele nourishes us and cares for us when we play. So it's kind of our responsibility to maintain and care for our investment. By this case, taking care of humidity and making sure that our ukulele is gonna be our best friend for years to come. So mahalo for watching in a little bit on our humidity. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Shoot us an email. 
If you're looking for any of these products, be easy enough for us to get it in the mail to you. So don't hesitate, reach out to us. We look forward to hearing from you. Aloha.